Yo, what is going on gamers? This is your boy Chris here, aka Chris the Gamer, and yet again, we have all been lied to. We've all been lied to by Activision. At first, supply drops in this game were supposed to only bring in cosmetic items only, and obviously, that was just a lie, because clearly, if you guys don't already know, a couple days ago, they added in brand new weapons into Call of Duty. Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, first off, I never made a video about supply drops, right? I never made a video of me ranting on. I do these rants a lot. I destroyed Infinite Warfare. Like, if you guys have not seen those videos, they did so well on my channel. I absolutely ripped Infinite Warfare a new one, and they did really well. But I didn't make a rant video about them adding supply drops in this game because at first i was very upset with it i was absolutely upset that they made supply drops into the game and it actually kind of dawned on to me like it doesn't really change the game that much at first it was only nice i was still absolutely upset because i know who activision is like i understand that they are going to add weapons into the game they said the exact same thing back in black ops 3 everyone said the exact same thing again they said trust me it's going to be different this time and boom out of nowhere it was not different it was exactly the same and we all predicted it some people didn't see it because they were blinded but it was obvious that they were going to add in new weapons so they added in a weapon called like the xr something i don't know it's basically the acr the acr from modern warfare 2 that thing absolutely shreds now what's different they also add in some other stuff like melee weapons and then a magnum but obviously everyone cares about the acr but what's different about this system if we try to compare it to the black ops 3 or advanced warfare system is you can actually earn the weapon without opening supply drops now you can do it the hard way and the hard way is like obviously not spending any money and the way that you can actually get this weapon without having to go through the supply drop system and all that like weird stuff you actually can craft the weapon but in a way you still have to go through the supply drop system because the way how it works is when you get duplicates in this game you get these things called parts and you can use those parts to buy things that will unlock the actual weapon which is basically the acr and it is called the xmlar and that's obviously way better than any other system that we've had i don't know the exact number if you like count up all the parts that you'll need but it's a lot of parts i know a lot of people said i think people were saying it's equivalent to like 20 dollars if you actually spend money on it but you can actually get the weapon without spending money you just have to grind and I mean, that's not too bad. That gives you a reason to play the game. If you've, you know, been grinding the mess out of COD 4, you've probably been getting bored of it. And this kind of spices the game up for you. You get to try to grind for the new assault rifle, some new knives in the game, as well as a magnum, which sounds pretty cool. Now, what I have an issue with is the fact that they told us, you know, we weren't going to get these weapons. They were only going to be cosmetic only. And then they ended up adding in weapons. And on top of that, on top of that, we've already gotten you know weapons into this game you know we got the mp44 which was a dlc weapon and um you know i thought that was it for you know cod 4 i was like rip cod 4 way back then but the way how they did this one that was a little bit different you actually got to unlock this one you know this one is in private match you have it in private match and stuff like that but the xm lar is not unlocked in private match the only way that you can get it in private match is if you actually craft the weapon which means that you actually have to obviously get the weapon and what i don't understand with that is in private match the whole point of the whole new private match system that we've got i think we got that back in black ops 2 where all the weapons were unlocked is the fact that all weapons were unlocked i feel like they did it this way so people would have that itch to just be like all right listen you know i'm just gonna go ahead and spend the extra money on supply drops so i can get the weapon i feel like that's why they did it because they wanted people to be like i can't use it in private match so i technically need to just spend the money on it which is something that i hate because i wanted to be kind of creative and been like all right even though we complete the assault rifles in the 1v1 with every gun series i wanted to add the xm lar to the series but the only issue with this the fact that this weapon is not unlocked to everyone which means that you actually have to craft it yourself that probably means that the gun's banned i don't even have to look at the rules i'm like 99 percent sure the gun is banned unless umg they like to do it where you can actually do like a challenge option where if the person has the gun you can put like xmlars only which you know that would make sense if umg does that and if they do end up doing that when the site comes back on that'll be cool because then when i finally unlock the weapon then i can do that 
for you guys. I can finally put out another episode of the 1v1 series and bring back the Assault Rifle category so we can fully destroy that and try to finish through with the submachine guns and then continue moving on and trying to see if we can finish that series. It just sucks that every single year they continue to tell us something and then they end up going back on their word. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about the weapons added into Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered? Just to go ahead and summarize, honestly, I don't care. I think the weapons are cool, to be completely honest. I think it's a way better system than Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3, because if you don't want to have to like get lucky and get the weapon out of a supply drop, you can craft the weapon, which is super, super cool. I like that a lot. Way better system in COD 4 than it was in any other game. And I feel like supply drops are here to stay. And if any developer needs tips on how to do it, they need to copy it exactly how Raven did it because they did it the best. You just got to play the game. It'll take a long time, but eventually you'll get the weapon if you put in the time. So like I said before, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And I shall see you guys next time. Peace out.